So just like the Oculus Quest, the HP Reverb made some pretty sizable waves when it launched at the end of May just last year. And when it did, it was largely because it was very powerful for the relatively low price it came in at. If I remember correctly, it has 2160 by 2160 per eye with a field of view of 114 degrees. Now on top of that, relatively minimal screen door effect. It's a fairly high quality headset for, for the amount of money. And even still, it's a high quality headset, even today. And uh, HP seems to be trying to one-up itself already, just like Facebook is doing with its Quest 2. However, just like the Quest 2, the Reverb G2 is not showing much in its uh, teaser trailer. In fact, uh, HP told Road to VR, quote, through this collaboration, Valve, Microsoft, and HP, you heard that right, all three, are bringing a more immersive, comfortable, and compatible VR experience. Now, I already went over what immersiveness means in terms of uh, virtual reality headset when I talked about how the, how the PlayStation 5 specifications are going to relate to the current generation of PlayStation VR headsets. However, when it comes to compatibility or comfort, well, let, let's just start with comfort, shall we? All three of these headsets, or all three of these companies, HP, Windows and Valve have all put out at least one headset. And they've all had time to do a little bit of quality testing within each of those headsets. However, as far as compatibility goes, the best way I could describe that is, is that it relates to tracking and external audio sources like headsets. Now, Right now, the current HP Reverb relies on the current generation of Windows Mixed Reality controllers, these ones. Whereas Steam uses their own proprietary tracking, Steam VR tracking, of course. And of course, there's the, the uh, virtual reality ecosystem, I should say, that Windows uses. The, Mixed Reality Portal, as well as Steam VR. While, while there is a, an in-house modification or application that you could get on Steam to be able to access the Windows Mixed Reality Portal, uh, the very idea of compatibility with this upcoming headset could very well hint at the idea that the G2 is going to be straight away compatible with this Steam VR ecosystem rather than going straight through the Windows Mixed Reality portal. But again, not much is known and uh, hopefully you guys know a little bit more about it than I do when you watch this following teaser trailer.